Sneak Linux back again tonight, and we're now we're looking at Linux Mint 7 Gloria, and very nice it is too. One of the most popular distros on the market, apart from Ubuntu in the Linux community, and you can see why it's really, really easy to use, and everything is installed pre for you. Well, most of it anyway. As you can see, I'm opening a few things up the file browser. It's all there. I'm going to open up the file system. Very Ubuntu like, but a bit green. As Linux Mint is based in Ireland, uh, must be the black stuff they're drinking to make it so good. Okay, I'll open up the menu, computer home folder, etc. etc. Trash. It's all there, but laid out differently, and some say easier to use. So it's up to you what you think. Anyway, we'll start to look at things. We go to the software manager. Now you have to put in the password, as you do. She'll come up, and there we go. This is Mint install. This is stuff they recommend for you to install, or sort of recommend. There's a beta package for Firefox at the top there. And if you scroll down, all the rest is there. Evolution, Fetz on Fire, that's quite popular. Opera, Frozen Ball, VLC, M Player. I could go on. Nautilus, Skype, of course. More, more, more. And you can just install it from there. There's no need to look for all the stuff in the Synaptic. Next, we'll go to the control center. As you can see, it's what you get in systems administration, but all on one page. Easily set out. Nice and easy to read. This is why it's popular. People like this. It's all in front of them. As you can see, there's plenty there for you to choose from. I'll go to my partition here. I've just used an 8 gig partition for Mint tonight. There you go. Find a mega swap and the rest for my file system. Anyway, what else we got here? There's loads, as you can see. Mint Nanny's another good one. Now, if you've got lots of kids, you click add, put the domain you don't want them to go to, like www.porton.com, add it, and they won't be able to browse that section. A nice good one for you parents. Computer janitor. Now, I've not actually used this just yet, but I imagine it just cleans up the system so there's more room for other stuff and temporary files, etc, etc. I will get to use it at another date. I might have a little play with it in the week, but hey, we'll get to there. All your network connections. Nautilus. Compies. For those you want to play with, Compies anyway. Mint desktop. More, more, more. There you go. Really nice, really good. Most of you will like this. I can tell you that now. So anyway, we'll come out of there, and we're going to have a look somewhere else. We'll go to the Package Manager, which of course is Synaptic. Now everything is there, it's based on Jaunty, so there's plenty there for you to choose from. I'll just show you the repositories it's going to get it from. You've got the Mint packages anyway from Debs, Gloria. I do wonder why they call them girls' names, but I'm not going to ask any more questions, but hey, it's all based on Gloria. All works nice anyway. And I've had no problems using it. What we're going to do, we're going to search for a program to install. And I'm going to use WF MPEG. Now, if you like converting videos, audio, etc., this is the baby for you. It does almost every format from whatever you want to do. So, if you want to convert a video to go on your phone, it will do it for you. If you want to convert it to QuickTime for whatever reason, this is the one for you. So we're going to install that. There we go. Click on Apply. Doesn't need hardly anything to be downloaded because it's already there, but just hidden from you. So there we go. Download our extra files. It's now going to install it all for us. Nice and quick. It does take a bit longer. I have edited the video, but I'm just showing you what it's like. So you know what to expect if you are downloading and installing stuff on it. We'll close him. Come out of that. And next we'll have to use something else. I think we should really use the browser, but I don't know yet. What do you reckon? You reckon? Get on then, let's use it. Go straight to the Linux Mint page. As you can see it says Linux Mint Glory released. We know because we're using it. Nice and clear. Lovely. Like it. Quick. Nice. I like it. We're going to go to another page, I think. 
Uh, some of you have seen all the videos before I normally go to BBC but tonight for a change I'm going to go to Channel 5 it's another intense page with lots of videos, trailers, pictures etc so it gives a good idea what it's going to look like when you actually use it Okay. so we'll click on Channel 5 there we go nice and quick again gives you information about TV programs on it if you've got Channel 5, that is. But what we're going to go is to the Gadget Show page, methinks. That's the better one for us to use. If you're not in the UK, you're not seeing it, and you can try and get the videos, this is the one for you to look at. It's quite fun, informative, good program. Scroll down. You can watch any of these videos. It comes installed with all the software to watch it, so you ain't got no hunky-dory to do whatsoever. If you click watch it, it will play the video for you. Not a problem. Not a plain problem. Nice. It works really nice. This is why so many people like Linux Mint. Or Linux Mint, even. We'll go to the software portal anyway. As you can see, Gloria is there. That's what we got. Now, most of these are in Mint install anyway. But it just gives you a sort of idea of the sort of software that's available from them anyway. So Skype would be one that a lot of people would use. OpenOffice is there anyway, but you may want the Noom one. Who knows? And we'll click out of there. Very nice clean desktop. There's quite a few pictures to choose from, but they're very sharp and clear. That's what I like anyway. So applications, favourites. Applications, favourites. I like doing this. Applications, favourites. We'll go down to Office. I couldn't help myself, sorry. Open office word processor. There you go. Or writer as it's called. Click on the help. See what version we're on. It's 3.01. Nice. It's the Debian Ubuntu one. Nice. Works. Good. Like it. Next we're going to there again. Sound the video. We've got Brazero. I'm not really fond of Brazero. Expert caps there, that's good. We get to administration. There's a program called AP Tun C D. This we can create your own installation disk with all the packages you've downloaded. Now, if you want to do this, this is a really, really good idea. I've not actually tried it yet, but I'm going to this week, and I will let you know how I get on. Okay. Well, I've nearly finished on this video now, because there's plenty for you to look around at. If you get the live CD, you can have a good look and see what you want to do. But there's lots and lots and lots here. It's very, very quick does run on low-end systems and it did install on 384 of RAM not 512 as they stipulate so just to say it does work, there's Gimpy get Linux Link 7 Gloria, it's great super duper, 5 stars from me, sneak Linux out